So you want to earn passive income with Cardano, but you don't know how? Well, then this is the video for you, because in this video, we'll look at how to stay Cardano with the Daedalus wallet. What's up? My name is Caroline, and this is Wealth in Progress, where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. Now, I've already done a staking tutorial for the Yara wallet, but I've also got requests to also cover the Daedalus wallet. So this is what we're going to look at today. Now, just up front, the Daedalus wallet requires a lot more space on your computer and it is a bit more work to set it up. So if you want to have the super easy version, then better use the Yara wallet, which is a Chrome extension. I'll link the video on top of my head so you can check that out as well. There are some slight differences between the two wallets, between the Daedalus and Yorari. The main one is that Daedalus is a full node so this means that you need to download the whole blockchain history and that's why it requires a lot of space. It requires about 6 GB to download it onto your computer. Now Yorari is a lightweight wallet so this is a Chrome extension that doesn't require you to download any, any part of the history. So what it does is it works together with Emergo. So that's, this is one of the companies behind Cardano and that basically provides the full node. And so you can work together with Emergo and therefore need a lot less space on your computer. Now, Daedalus is the official wallet of IHK. So that's the main company behind Cardano and that makes it the, the absolute safest way. So having a full node is the safest way to stay Cardano. However, that doesn't mean that your isn't safe. It's just a tiny bit less because you have to trust Emergo to do the work at this as it should as a node. But being a, a company behind Cardano, I think we can still trust them. But if you want to have the absolute best certainty, then Daedalus is the way for you to go. So I found this article from IOHK. So that's the company behind Cardano. And that gives a great comparison between the two wallets. I'll link it in the description so you can read through it for yourself as well. I just quickly want to show you this comparison. So we'll just go through that quickly. Both are supported for Windows, Mac OS and Linux, but Yora is also supported by Android and, and iOS. So it's also available as an app. Now, one important difference is that because Daedalus is so big, it requires, so it says here, one to two hours to download. I've actually already done that and I think it took me even more than two hours. So it also depends on your internet connection. With your it's instant because it's just a Chrome extension. Then again, what you can see here, this is a full node, the Daedalus wallet that downloads the entire blockchain and validates full transaction history. And here it just connects to the node hosted by Emergo. So that's what I mentioned earlier. What both have in common is that your private, that you store your own private key. So this is not stored by a third party, even with the Emergo node. Another important thing to note is that Daedalus needs significant usage, needs significant amount of storage space and bandwidth, whereas Yora doesn't need any of that at all because it just works on Chrome. So if you have a, a older computer or a, a laptop that doesn't have a lot of storage, then you might be better off with the Yora wallet. You can stake with both options and all the rest is not super relevant apart from the staking, uh, apart from the space, you can see 6.5 GB for Daedalus and only 6.5 MB for Euro. All right, now let me walk you through how to set up the Daedalus wallet and then stake your Cardano. Okay, so first of all, you need to go to daedaluswallet.io and then click on download, choose the one for your, for your system. So in my case, it would be Mac OS. Click on download Daedalus. And once that's downloaded, it opens up the install page. So you can just uh, go through all of that. So this will take a few moments, but this is not the long part. So you basically just have to wait for all that unpacking and everything. Okay, so now this has been installed successfully. You can close that and you can also move that to the bin, the installer, you don't need that anymore. And now you see it at the bottom, it is installed, the Daedalus mainnet. So we can open that up. And all of that looks good. You can click on continue. Then we have to agree to the terms. All right, and now what you can see on the top right is that those two arrows, and that's what takes so long. So I've done that a bit earlier, and I'm now going on to the second step, but that that those little those arrows show you that the 
the node or the whole history is being downloaded and that took me a couple of hours so you have to wait for that you have to look at the percentage and then once it's downloaded you can see that you have a new icon on the top okay so you probably have to pause this video and come back once that has been fully downloaded a few hours later and now we're ready to create a new wallet so we'll click on create so we'll enter a wallet name and a password okay create Shelly wallet so now we get to the recovery phrase so that's the same process as with every other wallet and so I won't ever use this wallet which is where I can show you my screen but for you personally you really have to make sure that no one can see those words and that you write them down in a safe place and not don't take a screenshot or anything like that but actually write it down on a piece of paper and then store it somewhere safely safely but for demonstration purposes i can show you this so i'll click that i confirm that and then click on continue so we have those words now make sure that you write them down on a piece of paper and once you've done that you can click on yes i have written down my wallet recovery phrase and now you actually need to enter all of those words okay once you've put in the recovery phrase you need to confirm that you understand that it's best to store it offline to store it on a piece of paper so we'll confirm that and also the only way to recover the wallet is by using this recovery phrase so if that's clear to you then click on confirm okay so now you can see the transaction history for this wallet is being synced with the blockchain so i don't have any transaction history but this might take a little while you can see here it's it's updating but that also takes a while so that's because it's a full node this is just a bit more time time intensive all right so that's finally up to date that took another about 10 to 15 minutes so be prepared to calculate in some extra time and now we're ready to stake so with staking on Cardano, what you're doing is actually delegated staking and that means you just go into a staking pool with your coins and you actually just give them the pool, your voting power, but you still keep your coins for yourself. So it's still very secure, you have power over your coins, but you give them your voting power and in return you get those 5% returns per year. Now in order to stake your Cardano, you need to go to the second icon on the left and then click on stake pools. And here you can see all the stake pools and the colors indicate the saturation level. So you can see the yellow ones, these are, so if you click on them, you see these are saturated. So they are more than 100% filled. And you could theoretically still stake into a saturated pool, but then you would just receive less rewards. So that doesn't really make sense. I would rather go for one that isn't saturated, so maybe for instance number 33, you can see there's still space left, so if you click on that, you see that 64% saturated, and that's good. So all you need to do is you need to click on delegate to this pool, and then it says everything that you need to do, you can click on continue. Now I don't have any Cardano in here, so that's why I can't buy it, but it's literally, that, that's actually it, you just have to confirm it, you need to enter in your password, and that's it. So of course, if you want to stake your Cardano, you first need to buy them on an exchange such as Binance, send it over here, and then stake it, but it's really all very straightforward. If you still need help with any of those steps, leave a comment down below, and um, I'll get it back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!